I can move my webcam somewhere else because I'm noticing in order to look at you, I've got to go down here. And you know what? I can't see what I'm doing on the other side. But regardless, that requires skill. And I guess coordination, patience, and nerve. The reason I bring up that is the fact that I'm sure most of you probably look at me and think, oh, you know, what do I do during the day? What do I do for fun? Well, one of the things I do for fun, believe it or not, is I play hockey. Yep. I love hockey. I tell you, if I could be a coach, there would be no doubt that the Maple Leafs would win. And if not, I'd run everybody one of them over. But anyway, I play hockey. I have been playing hockey since the age of 10. So that's well over 30, oops, if I tell you that, um, you'll figure out what my age is. But anyway, nah, nah. Uh, we play. The only difference between us and the NHL is the fact that we don't play on ice. We play on hardwood. And a place near in Toronto has kindly let us use their, I guess their gymnasium, their sport courtyard, whatever you want to call it. And it's a fair size. It's got bleachers and storage because we also have spare electric chairs for some new players or even existing players that don't use an electric wheelchair during the day, but we are we are making some accommodation for that. However, we made it a rule if you don't have your own power chair, unfortunately you can't join. So that's the difference between us and the NHL. Uh, team spirit's the same. Now we have positions the same. Um, of course we have fans, yay. I would say the only big difference between the hockey association that I am in, which is the Canadian Electric Wheelchair Hockey Association. I've seen that baby bloom, I've seen it blossom, and it's still growing. And I think I was saying the only big difference, I guess, would be the rules. Between us and the NHL, pretty much everything is the same. The only big difference between us and the NHL when it comes to penalties, yeah, we have high sticking, we have slashing, and we also have, well, instead of roughing, we have dangerous driving. And the definite one penalty that we will never, ever, 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 ever have would be quite simply and very obvious. The one rule that would, or the one penalty that will never apply is tripping. <laughs>